During Steam Next Fest, Mike Chase and I decided to try Once Humans demo or beta, whatever they called it, and I have some really mixed feelings about it. Remember, this is just my opinion that I formed after only a few hours playing Once Human. If you have your own, let me know in the comments what you think about the game. First off, what is Once Human? It's a multiplayer open world post-apocalyptic survival game in generally the same vein as Ark and Fallout 76 and Rust. There's base building, item and weapon crafting, exploration, points of interest with larger enemies and quests, large world bosses to kill, and these things called war bands, which I think is basically their PVP stuff. Like some of this we saw in the demo, but most of the stuff like war bands and world bosses, I think are more geared towards late game. I do feel the need to tell you that these opinions are coming from someone who put in only about like 35 hours to Fallout 76 and I haven't touched games like Ark or Rust except for like a casual glance at the system. So I am by no means an expert in this type of game or someone who has put in like a lot of hours into types of games like this. But from my experience with Once Human, I think the game felt rough. I do recognize that it was a beta, so stuff could change, but I don't think it will that much with only a month till launch. Or not even a month till launch, because the game releases on July 9th. And I wanted to make this video just to talk about some things that I noticed during the beta. Once Human's performance wasn't great. Running around the world felt like there was consistent lag. Not spikes, but just like there was this inherent lag on the server while we were playing even as we got farther out from the starting point away from the cacophony of player houses it never felt like it went away for me the game ran between 45 and 70 fps so in the normal like 60 fps range but it still felt like it was constantly lagging it wasn't rubber banding or doing anything like that for me it just felt like there was the inherent stutteriness that you get from a consistent lag. Then there were also the multiple bugs that I ran into. Floating in midair when coming out of a cutscene, not being able to use ladders for some reason, like just not being able to climb up them at all. But the funniest bug that I ran into was the camera having a mind of its own in a conversation. Tell me if it's doing this for you guys. God. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Okay, I clicked fuck? on something and it stopped. <laughs> <laughs> and all of these happened within about two hours of playing. And it was at least four to six instances of the game bugging out in some way. And I think even Mike and Chase had the game bug out a couple of times. It's not like the worst buggiest mess that I've played in a beta, but it still wasn't great running into those bugs in just that short amount of two hours for playtime. And I think that performance was the biggest problem for me with the game. There were also some mechanics within the game that I was I was kind of questioning as we were playing and looking back, I still question it. Like, okay, first off, why the fuck is the beginner crossbow so strong? 400 plus damage on a headshot and 200 plus on a body shot. Like, it feels like this crossbow is too strong for an early game, early crafted weapon. I don't know if there were boosts that were happening from being in a hive that helped our damage output or anything, but we were rolling through everything. Facing things that were 10 plus levels above us was no problem at all with that crossbow. And I'll be honest, it didn't feel right being able to just, you know, mow through things like that. And speaking of the hive stuff, that's another system I don't fully understand. Mainly, I want to know why there is a limit of like four to eight people to a hive. It doesn't make sense to me as someone who played a lot of WoW to have the Hive and Warbands as separate entities if you're going to limit them that much. Like, a Hive feels like it should have a good amount of players, like a guild or a clan would have in other games, or even like tribes in uh, Ark. It feels like it should have more players. Like, there should be at least enough spaces to fill up a Warband. It just feels weird that it's limited to so few players. I might be looking at it from the wrong perspective of an MMO player more than like an ARC type game player though and I know I just talked about expanding the number of people allowed in a hive 
but they also need to limit the players per server more and just open up more servers or worlds for servers if possible. Having like four to 5,000 possible players on a server that's split into six worlds, if what they themselves are claiming is true, is a little much even if they spread out over the entire map. That's roughly 700 to 800 people per world. When you have games that once human is very similar to, like Ark and Rust, making server capacity max out at 100 to 500 players normally, and that's even pushing it sometimes, I really think having this amount of players is going to be too much, especially for PvE servers. And this thought is mostly coming from having so many damn territories and player-generated buildings throughout the map especially around the beginning area that are just abandoned. Like they started to do the quests and then the person just quit the game or moved to a different server and left all their shit right there. And it hasn't despawned or been destroyed. Like it crowds everything up and just makes it a bit harder to move around unless you're like running down the roads. It's It just feels like it needs a lot more limiting of the amount of players. I know like there's supposed to be PVP stuff and for PVP servers, go with that big amount but for like pve servers i think there needs to be a lot stricter of a limit on how many players there are per server and i think for me once human it just hasn't been able to sell me on the idea of wanting to play on public servers like there's a possibility of so many people running around you won't be able to do anything. I'm willing to give the game a try once it releases, but I have a feeling that it's not going to be a game for me. If all the PvE content can be completed with just three to four people, then I think the game would, it would at least pique my interest because it can be a good co-op experience playing with the guys. But if any of it is like the 40 man war bands type stuff, if any of that is for PvE, it's just not going to interest me. Like I'm willing to give it another try when it fully releases but from my initial view of the game it at best is mediocre for me like i feel like there's going to be a litany of problems with it i feel like that's where it's going to land for my own uh rating system but i'm not sure because this was just a demo and a small slice of the game that i played if you want me to give the game a try once it releases on july 9th maybe stream it maybe go and uh make another video on it let me know in the comment but that's all i've got to say about my my experience with once human during the demo slash beta thing and if you made it all the way to this point if you would be so kind and do all that algorithm stuff like the video maybe subscribe turn on notifications you know all that algorithm stuff i would be grateful for that but other than that i hope you have a royal day or a royal night